So in the root of our site, let's create a new folder, call it mod. Inside of this folder, we're going to create the file gg.php. And inside of this gg.php file, we start with the opening PHP tag. Then we create a variable called post code equals, and we're going to use strip slashes PHP function to strip all slashes from our parameter, URL parameter called PC. Now we check if is an empty post code. Then we're going to, uh, sorry, we're going to copy this post, copy this post code variable equal URL uh, and code. We're going to URL encode it before we send it to uh, Google Maps API. Then we have location equals and the URL will be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash maps dot Google Google APIS dot com forward slash maps forward slash API forward slash geo code forward slash and now the format in which we want to receive uh, the response which will be JSON you may want to have it in XML or any other format. Then we have address parameter equals then single quote uh, concatenation with the dot post code then dot single quote and sensor equals false. Okay, so that's our if, uh, full URL. We've already passed the parameter of the postcode, so uh, API, Google API, we know which postcode we're looking for. So now we're going to use curl, PHP curl, so ch equals curl in it. We're instantiating curl now. Then we go curl set option which will be ch as first parameter instance of our curl. Then we have curl opt URL to so the URL to which we, we which we want to call. And this is our location variable. I'm going to copy this line uh, two, two, two more times. Then we have next one, we'll have the curl uh, opt header and we're going to set it to null. Then we're going to have curl opt return transfer, and we set it to true to make sure that it's not going to echo anything on the page. We want to assign the returned value to uh, the variable, basically. So we have result equals curl x exec, and then we pass our instance. Okay, now we have curl close and our instance again. And now we simply echo result. So that's everything inside of this file. If we close it now, save it and close it. We can also save our core.js because I haven't saved it uh, in a previous video. Okay, so let's move to the next video and start testing uh, and continue with our uh, core.js file.